Some microscopy industry partners already participated in the very early concept phase of Eurobioimaging in the meetings and could contribute. Over time, like this, a high level of trust already grew mutually. Today the industry board is well organized, very well coordinated and represents a broad and relevant portfolio to Eurobioimaging in instrumentation and application development. Within the board, we work strongly along the legal and compliance rules and with a lot and high level of respect to each other. This is also recognized by Eurobioimaging, which gives even higher trust in our interactions together. Today, the industry board offers different learning platforms. Some examples are the Tech Exchange, which is presentation of new technologies uh, to the community after the weekly virtual pub of Eurobioimaging. There's also a number of online learning platforms where our users can find courses, tutorials, videos, and so on. So there's a broad outreach to a big community. We also introduced the possibility for remote access and remote control for light microscopy systems, but also for electron microscopes, which facilitates uh, the work of our users in certain circumstances. On the other hand, of course, we still can organize in-person workshops specifically dedicated for facilities. There is the possibility to work together along the development process by alpha or beta testing of instruments or joint application development. And last but not least, we offer also the possibility for students during their master uh, study phase to work as internships for several months in our companies. The new five years strategic plan which was developed by the Directorate of Eurobioimaging is a great guideline to strengthen our interaction and collaboration uh, with the community. Let me give you two examples from two uh, areas. The first is image data management, which is challenging, increasingly challenging for both for the industry and the community. So we need to even work closer together to better understand the actual and future needs of the community and how we jointly can develop here the right solutions in order to address these needs. A second example is again on the area of training, but on a next level. There's a program which is called Evolve that was launched in March this year, addressing new modern collaboration possibilities on training modules for industry and the community to increase their the knowledge into, in the future.